Hi everyone, welcome back to the MAM pad. I'm, I did some battery tests a while back and I wanted it to be a bit um, more torturous on the batteries because I was only drawing about 20 to between 20 and 30 amps, but mini quads can draw up to 120 amps depending on how they prop them. And these small batteries really have to deliver. So I've come up with an ultimate battery torture test stand. And uh, excuse the shaky camera, I'm not on a tripod because I have to move around a bit, but they will, the torture test will be coming shortly. I've ordered a watt meter so that we can see um, how many watts are drawn, how many watts the battery delivers. At the moment we have our coil system. Um, and let me just explain how this works. The voltage drop over the coil, that's a, that's a known gauge of why I had to double it up because it was too much and the coil was getting hot. So now it's, when you see what's on the voltmeter, it'll be five millivolts per amp. So if you see um, 0.3 uh, or, or uh, yeah, 0 0.3 millivolts or 0 0.3 volts, then you will have um, 60 amps being drawn. And that's kind of how it works. So let me just show you the um, test setup here. I've got some mini quad ESCs. I think these two are Lumineer and that one is a KISS ESC. I've got some Lumineer 2206, 2350 KV motors, three of them, all linked to the same thing. The test bed is now quite solid. Um, there's no more scale because uh, I'm actually just trying to test everyone else's motor tests and thrust tests. I'm gonna, I'm trying to test batteries here. Um, the watt meter is coming so we can see how many watts are drawn accurately. At the moment you'll just have to rely on my coil system. There is a uh, cell meter so you can see the voltage of the cell. And these are the poor batteries that are going to be tested. Here's an fpvracing.ch 75C 150C max or burst. Your tattoo, um, which is pretty good. Your drone factory, which is also very good. Your graphene, which is how this whole test series started. That's a uh, 65C. And then the poor old Multistar, which um, is going to suffer. So let me show you, this is a huge battery I'm testing. This is a uh, 35C, 70C continuous, um, 6200 um, 4S. And it's, it's not fully charged, but that doesn't matter. It's just to show you guys how this whole test setup works. So as you see, I've put a vise there because this moves, it actually gets pulled. Um, let's see if the vise stops it. I actually don't think so because these are all pulling, these these three motors. So I'm gonna plug in the Arduino, same setup as before. And then I'm gonna move the camera around, so let's go. Let me hold it as well. It's, it's gonna get noise in here, so just bear with me. Okay. okay, so I stopped it because the poor battery's uh, being drained more than it should be. It's 3.4, I'll have to charge that little guy up uh, now afterwards. So these batteries are in for something. Um, this is not even a typical setup. I mean, typically the, the motors are cold, by the way. Typically you'd have four motors, obviously on a quad, and the ESCs are also cool. Uh, there's there's no problems there because these are mini quad ESCs, um, and let's see let's see when the watt meter arrives in a few days. Then we're gonna be really testing these batteries. If anyone 
wants me to test specific batteries. I've ordered some uh, Turnergy A spec to also test them out because they are apparently 65C to 90 or something like that. So let's see how they hold up to our benchmark here, which is the graphene, which everyone is so interested about. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon, bye.